Hello, hello, all of my gardening friends. Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you all for showing back up to meet me in my garden. In this video today, we will be talking about our new water timer and my irrigation system that we just had put in, okay? Now remember, I've been telling y'all, I gotta figure something out. We've been trying to depend on people to water our stuff for us, and sometimes they do, and sometimes they don't. But you know what the saying say, if you want something done, do it yourself. So in saying that, we are gonna go ahead and talk about this new water timer. So this is our new Rainpoint Smart Timer, okay? Now this Smart Timer came with a brass fitting that you can hook right to your water hose, okay? So this is our new Rainpoint Water Timer that we got sent to us. It has a brass fitting that connects right to your water faucet that I absolutely love because a lot of them comes with plastic fittings and they're pretty cheap. They'll break really easy. It also came with a hub inside of the box that you connect the rain point to your Wi-Fi. So this is a one zone water time, okay? Basically just letting you know that it could just water one zone, but you can get a splitter. This is what Mr. Kindergarten put on here. A splinter so I can have one going to my patio and the other one that we'll have just going up the hill. Now with this rain point, what we have, they tell you to download the rain point app. So you download the app, but then you have to go and hook this up to your Wi-Fi. It came with the ethernet box, that you can connect to the Wi-Fi, okay? Oh, so it kind of runs off of that, so that's how it's gonna integrate in with your phone. An app for Android or iPhone, either one, okay? So, I know a little bit about it. I'm gonna let Mr. Kindergarten kind of chime in. Okay, so as of right now, he has the um, rain point set to how much or how long? It's basically set on the, for the plan, for the first plan, which is the normal irrigation plan. And basically I got it set for the morning. You can have it, uh, you can have it set twice. You can have it set for the morning or the evening. That's on a normal function, but you also have a inter in interval irrigation uh, function as well to where it can go out frequently. This is good due to the fact that it can control how much output of water that you're putting in. And it also gives you the reading of how much, how many gallons you use on the app, which is great. So say if we use 1.7 gallons for five minutes, we know we want, if we want to save, you can lessen the amount of time to save on the water. Okay, well that sounds pretty cool. Now, Another thing about having this splitter on there is good is because it has where you can cut off from different sides. So when we gone, we turn one side off to the patio because nobody's really here watering it. So he'll have it just only going up the hill to one particular zone. So unless you purchase a two zone. Unless you purchase a two zone because Rain Point also has the two zone water timers. Now, another good function that he showed me because we used to have another water timer, I didn't like it because I couldn't figure out what to do, how to control it. I'm like, I need you to turn the water on at home. I will have to wait on Mr. Kindergarten just to turn the water on. One button. All we have to do is push that button in. Once we push that one button in, it turns it on automatically. Even though he have it set in, the, in his app, it got the one and button. Smart plan recommendation. But the smart plan recommendation only works uh, well with the smart saw moisture sensor. Now we actually already have it in one of the pots up front, uh, I mean on the hill, and it's showing me that I have 59% moisture inside of one of the pots. Uh, Say so if I use the smart um, function and I put it to 35%, so once it get up on 35%, uh, it will automatically uh, turn the uh, sprinkler system on. That's, that's a great function. So you telling me, so we're at the campground, and I'm saying we need the garden the water. All you do is hit a button yes. from your app and turn the water on. Yeah, manual function. 
manual function. I love it. I love it. That's exactly what we needed, okay? Rain delay. You told me that it's connected to the Wi-Fi and that it kind of sees what the weather is, right? Yes. So it shows the weather inside of the app? Yes. It's 94 degrees out here. And that's tomorrow. It's showing I it's going to rain. So even though you got it set and it's showing it's going to rain tomorrow, will it still come on or it automatically does a rain delay? My understanding is supposed to do a rain delay. Cool beans. And if, and if not, I can hit it on the phone, my own self, to do a rain delay for uh, from one to three days, 72 hours, I want to say. But if it does it itself, I guess that's what makes it be a smart, smart. time. Yeah, correct. That's why you have the uh, weather on the app. Okay. So. so that's our rain point, rain timer. Now we want to show you all our irrigation system that we put in that I told you all we needed to put something in. So up here, what we have is a drip sprinkler irrigation system, okay? So he put those in and installed them in. Okay, if you can see back here, we have all the hoses, okay? He have them going into each and every pot, right here in this section and in the second part of the section, okay? So, what he said is when he turned the water on, you can make it drip or you can make it spray, right? Correct. But it's going to water each and every plant that we have. So, I really like that because I'm making sure each plant get water you know on a daily basis while we gone okay so it don't just shoot out a whole lot of water it just shoots out enough to kind of keep it down so in this particular one he has that rain point rain point sensor smart sensor he has that smart sensor in there to let us know exactly how much moisture is actually inside of that pot so Which on here on it's that's on the app 59%. and that's the same thing that it says on here so it's kind of together on there i'll put that back in there okay so all of that this irrigation system is connected to our rain point timer smart time i like it so it looked like all of it together is working together just fine. And I love it. Both of those paired together. Now, when you get those, this irrigation system, you got to make sure you get enough. Because he said he feel like we need more feet. And we got a nice amount of feet. Now, I'm going to make sure I put the affiliate links inside of the description down below for the rain point water timer and also for the irrigation system. We just like how they pair together, okay? That helps us out up here in this garden. And God is blessing, he really is. When I hear you guys in those comments saying, your garden look lush, pretty, green, healthy. Hey, I'm like, is it good? Cause I'm weary every day trying to make sure that everything is um, okay. So. Another good thing I'm going to say real fast about that irrigation system, why it's probably good to have it, because we ain't watering the leaves. It's watering down low in the soil. I like that because that's something that you all taught me. Don't water your leaves. Don't water your leaves. You don't want the, uh, what is it, powdery mildew, downy, I don't know what all those names is. I get confused sometimes. I have to keep, yeah, the different funguses. So that helps to keep that away okay so we like it we love it even with the rain point we give it two thumbs up my favorite feature about it is the point that when we're not here we can turn it on or off he can manually set how much water he wants to flow out of there i love that and i like the fact that when he's not here I can actually turn the water on with ease by pushing that one button that turns that water time on. So I really like it. Do you like it? I love it. He say he love yeah. it. That way I he don't have it. to hear me wearing while we out on a stress-free journey to... Or, or putting somebody on um, water duty. Or putting somebody <laughs> else on water. On water duty.
So I'm gonna show you guys how to turn the rain point timer on in the app manually. And you basically uh, turn on the manual, the normal irrigation, and you can set the time for 10 minutes, or however many you want. I'm just gonna hit 10 minutes, and all you hit is confirm. And it should be coming up. Now you can do that uh, for the morning and for night, or if you need to do it a couple times a day. It's, it's, it's basically a manual quick setting that you can do on a daily basis, if that's what you choose, because it has three different options. But I love it. It's a, straight from the app. It's going off the internet. I can be anywhere in the world. I can hit the app and it comes on for however long I need it to come on. So, we love the Rainpoint Smart Timer, along with also our irrigation system that we put in. I will be dropping down the affiliate links down below in the description. It is no cost to you to hit those links and go and purchase any of these products that you've seen in this video today. Remember, I am the kindergartner. I'm here to learn from you. And to repeat some of the things that I have learned, and some of the things that I also have purchased for my gardens. Okay, you all have a good day, and I'll see you guys on my next video.